Hey, what is up everybody, Epiphany here, and today I got another CSGO video for you guys. It's definitely some CSGO in the background, but today what I really have for you is a good gaming build and a good gaming computer for just under $500. And I really wanted to do this because I was on a huge budget when I just recently built my new computer. I've had it for a little while now, and everything has been working perfectly. I've everything fit perfectly everything has worked 110 percent no problems with anything and i haven't had any flaws or anything like that yet and i really enjoy it the computer runs fast it's good for just about everything rendering videos making youtube videos and also gaming of course recording streaming stuff like that it works perfectly for just about everything and I really enjoy it, so I thought I would share you, with you guys what I bought and, you know, tell you guys how I feel about everything and what I've experienced with everything. So, just to give you guys a heads up on what would be a good build for just under $500 if you are on a budget. So, first things first, I'm going to start with the case. I had to buy a new case because the computer case I had only fit a micro ATX and the motherboard I wanted to get was an ATX. So the first things first that we got here is the Roswell computer case. It's Roswell Challenger and it is awesome. It includes three fans and it supports two extra side fans. So you have two 120 millimeter fans. You have one in the front that has a blue LED. You have one in the rear that is also 120 millimeter and then you have one up top which is a 140 millimeter fan which is really nice. It definitely keeps the system and everything inside pretty cool and it works really well. The fans are all really nice. The LED looks pretty cool and everything um, everything so far has fit in here perfectly it's just m mostly wires you know you gotta go ahead and put the wires in certain spots and whatnot not too hard not too challenging everything fits like a dime it's amazing it's really amazing I love it and I really highly suggest this this case has a good amount of room in it and it's really nice even with all the wires and everything in here right now it's still completely roomy and looks really well and looks really really nice put together and everything it's a good sturdy case and that only runs at $49.99 so coming with three fans you don't have to spend 50 to 150 on three more fans it's a great case and it's really awesome I love it I really do and I definitely definitely suggest it so next we're moving on to the motherboard and today we got the MSI 970 gaming motherboard this is an AMD motherboard and it's really awesome it is an ATX that is the size and it works really well it, everything fits on there nicely the motherboard in general will look, looks nice the red on it looks nice and it overclocks good it's got some audio really good audio in it and everything so far this thing has been perfect and just putting all the wires in there and everything nothing was too challenging while hooking it up or anything like that it fit perfectly in the case and just looks really nice in there as well so I really really suggest this motherboard this motherboard's awesome if you are on a budget this motherboard for gaming is completely awesome it overclocks really well and everything like that it handles the overclock and it's just it's really nice it works really well the BIOS on it is really nice as well it's easy to go ahead and move it around and whatnot and it's really easy to figure everything out so next we have the processor and today it's the AMD FX 8350 processor it is really awesome and it's really really nice it's an 8 core processor it runs at 4 gigahertz and overclocks to 4.2 gigahertz now you can overclock it past that it is a very steady very very steady overclock at 4.2 gigahertz but you can definitely overclock it at that and still keep it steady I've overclocked it to 4.4 4.5 worked perfectly and it was really nice and I really loved it right now I still have it overclocked at 4.2 I overclocked it a little bit too fast at 4.6 4.7 but the only reason why that is because I messed up some things with the voltage and stuff like that so I had to go ahead and clear it and I just kind of left it at 4.2 definitely going to turn it up sooner or later but it really really works like a charm it's really nice and it works really well it handles great overclock and it's really steady and everything I really like it next we have the NVIDIA GeForce GT 630 at $89.99 and actually that is the wrong one it is at 
110. So this is a little bit expensive, a bit expensive, a uh, little bit more expensive because it's Nvidia, um, or Nvidia, sorry. And but it's really nice. I've had it for a while. There is, of course, better ones out there. There's, of course, of course, of course, better ones out there. There's always better stuff out there. But as I said before, this is on a budget, and it works perfectly. I've had it for a, a really long time now, and it's still working like a charm. It's making everything look absolutely beautiful. As I said, there is most definitely better ones out there. But as for the budget, this one is really nice. Now. Onto the power supply. Today we got the Raid Max Hybrid. It's a 730 watt ATX 12 volt 12 volt power supply. This thing is awesome. It's really cool. It's got a blue LED to match the case too. That's pretty nifty. But now this thing is awesome. It fits in the case perfectly, and I've had no problems with it. The fan on it runs perfectly fine, and it's just really worked like a charm. Everything in this build so far for me has worked like a charm, and it does everything, absolutely everything that I need it to do. And it's really nice, and it really fits together well. It makes a good whole computer for under $500. It's really great. And yeah, I love it. I honestly love it. And it's been working like a charm. No problems whatsoever. But I know some people out there are looking for some budget builds to build a nice computer that they can play games on. You, you can definitely play games on this. You can definitely play high ultra graphics on this. It works perfectly. I've done it already and it's really nice and it works really well. Streaming works really well. And also recording works fantastic also so there's no there's been no lag spikes no fps drops nothing nothing this this computer has been absolutely steady so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video this is just a budget build that i thought i'd do because i really love everything that has been put together and i really suggest all of it if you are looking to build a new computer or you know have a budget and want to build a good to decent computer with the money you have so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this video definitely helped some of you guys out with your budget builds or finding some things you liked i hope you guys found some things you liked with this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos definitely be sure to leave a like all right guys my name is epitome and i'll catch you next time hey if you guys enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave a like if you guys want to see more videos definitely be sure to click one of the links in the description to go watch more of my videos if you guys always want to see more then definitely be sure to subscribe my name is epitome i'll catch you guys later